Today, let's learn a useful animation trick which is quite easy to create even for beginners. And the animation looks like this. We have four text boxes. On a click, I reveal the first text box like this. Then on a click, I reveal the second text box, the third one and the fourth one. It's a very interesting and dramatic way to introduce four text boxes. Let me show you how to create this from scratch. The first step is to create one prototype and then make multiple copies so we can create our four text boxes. First, let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a circle. And this is going to be our number placeholder. Let us go to Shape Fill and give it this orange color. Go to Shape Effects, go to Preset and use the second one called as Preset 2 and then write your number 1. And of course, you can change the font color by going here and using this black color. And you can choose a thicker font like 2 sen MT Condensed Extra Bold and let us increase the size like so. Now that looks good. If you want to add a white outline, of course, you can go to shape outline and say white outline and you can increase the weight. It is completely up to you. It's your personal choice. The next step is to create the box which will hold our text. So I'm going to use four lines to create the box and this is where the magic happens. If you were to just go and create one rectangle, then you will not find the kind of animation that I'm about to show you. So we need to use simple lines. So let us go to lines and then pick up the simple line tool, hold the shift button down and you draw a straight line like so and make sure that it is right in the center and middle. So select this, select this and then make sure that it is aligned middle and then also click on align center so it is properly aligned then you can click on this line, right click and send this to back and you can have it in black color. You can increase the weight like so, maybe around three points is just right. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate, place it somewhere over here. You know that this is the place where you want it to end. Make sure that both these lines are selected along with this and say align center and then connect this with this. So let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate, rotate, you can find that rotate here in arrange, rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees and then you can place it in such a way that it connects with the box. You can hit the left arrow a couple of times so you can make the final adjustments. You can see that the line snugly fits here. Then let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place it to the other side. Now we have got our box created. Now let us go to the Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like so that covers this box end to end. Go to Shape Outline, No Outline and use a very light fill color like this and right click and send this to back. And then let us write some text inside the box. Let me pick up the text that I had already written so I can save you some time. Let me press Ctrl V here and I'm going to place it over here. Now this is the basic arrangement. Let us now make it come to life with our custom animation. The first step is to have this line split. So let us select this, go to animations and let it enter the scene with a split animation and it needs to split vertical out. So that is our first step. And right after that, we are going to have this and this wipe down. So let us go to wipe and say it happens from top and this happens after previous. And right after that, we need to have this line close with a split. So let us go to split and say this is vertical in which is the default and the job is done. And this happens after previous. Now when I go to animation pane, you can see that these are the four animations and right after that we are going to have this background box that we just created that needs to fade in. So we are going to add fade animation right after that and say after previous and while that happens, we are going to have this fade in as well. And this happens with previous. Now let us see how the animation is shown. On a click split and then this is happening. Now this is not really good. And that is because these two lines are wiping one after another. So we are going to have the second wipe and say with previous. So this line and this line need to wipe simultaneously. So that is the idea. So split wipe and then split close and this fades in and we have text. Once you create one prototype, it is just a matter of copying by pressing Ctrl D and then you place this right next to the previous one. Hit Ctrl D 
and this is fairly big and that is the reason why we will only have three of these boxes if you had done it slightly narrowly then you could have made four boxes now everything is customizable now let us select everything and use your left mouse click to click and drag it to the right position and then of course you can go here and make your customization for the number placeholder and also the text inside now we will also make the changes here since we have got only three text boxes this is not four text boxes revealed when I go to slideshow, I say that there are three text boxes that are going to be revealed. It could be like three steps in a process or it could be like three important events or three points to consider. So the audience now has the expectation to see three points. On a click, I reveal the first point and then discuss. Now your audience can't take their attention away from your slide because there are these two numbers that are dangled in front of them, giving them a promise that there is something going to come. So on a click, we will click and reveal the second point and provide our explanation. Now the tension is even more. They need to see this to complete the slide. So on a click, we reveal the third one and reveal the information. Now let me show you three example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, where we take the simple idea of a list with three items to a whole new level with different variations using advanced custom animation. The first one is this, where we show three images and text. On a click, we show the platform and the first image and its explanation. Then we have the second one and the explanation, the third one and the explanation. So this is a different way to show a list. Now, if you don't want photos on your slide and you want to use icons instead, then we can go for the next template. Here we have three icons shown like this. The first icon is revealed, the second icon is revealed, and the third icon is revealed and this is how the text is shown with the relevant icons. If you want to present the three items in the list as three targets to be achieved and want to have a concept-based animation, then you can have something like this. Here is a slide where we say we have achieved three targets which were important for us. The first one is this. You can give the details about the target here and then say we achieved this. And the second one achieved, third one, and then achieved and we have the details here. So as you can see, even though it is nothing but a simple list with three items, you can bring in enormous number of variations as long as you apply a bit of creativity and imagination. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and check out more details. If you liked this tutorial that showed how to use PowerPoint animation in an interesting way, then you will really love this other video that we have put together called Stylish Animated PowerPoint Infographic with Mask Reveal Effect. The effect looks like this. Can you see here? It reveals one step at a time in a very interesting and dramatic fashion. I'll show you how to do this in a step-by-step -step manner in this particular tutorial. I will leave a link to this tutorial right here on your screen. You can click on the link, go watch that video right now and enjoy learning this very interesting animated infographic. I'll see you inside that video.